Welcome, we are now viewing slides about sustainability in manufacturing for application process. This slide is made by Melissa Patricia. Matrix number is HP21018. In this slide, you will learn nine things on how to sustain in manufacturing for extreme precise. 1. Reduce energy consumption. 2. Use renewable energy. 3. Implement waste reduction strategies. 4. Implement green chemistry. 5. Use sustainable materials. 6. Focus on product design. 7. Invest in employee training. 8. Life cycle assessment. And last but not least, recyclability. Sustainability in manufacturing process refers to using methods and technologies that minimize negative environmental impacts while maintaining economic viability and social responsibility. Reduce energy consumption. This can be done by using energy efficient equipment, optimizing production process to reduce waste, and implementing energy saving practices like turning off machines when not in use. To reduce energy consumption, we can use equipment optimization, which use energy efficient extrusion machines and components that minimize energy loss and maximize process efficiency. Regularly maintain and calibrate equipment to ensure optimal performance. Next, we can do heat recovery, which implement heat recovery system to capture and reuse waste heat generated during the extrusion process. This can be achieved through heat exchangers or other technologies to preheat incoming materials or water, reducing the need for additional energy. We also can process control and automation, which utilize advanced process control and automation systems to monitor and optimize energy consumption in real time. This system can adjust parameters and make energy saving decisions based on specific conditions. By implementing these strategies, it is possible to significantly reduce energy consumption in the extrusion process while maintaining product quality and operation efficiency. Use renewable energy. Implementing renewable energy sources like solar, wind, or hydropower can reduce dependence on non-renewable energy sources and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. How can we use renewable energy in sustainable in manufacturing? First, by use hydropower. Hydroelectric dams can be used to generate electricity, which can then be used to power the extrusion machine. This is a reliable source of energy that can be used to meet peak demand. Next, do on-site renewable energy generation. By installing renewable energy systems such as solar panel or wind turbines on site to generate electricity for powering the extrusion equipment. This allows for direct utilization of clean energy in the manufacturing process. Third, by energy storage, which combines renewable energy generation with energy storage systems such as batteries to store excess energy produced during favorable conditions. The stored energy can be used during periods of low renewable energy generation or high energy demand. Last but not least, by biomass. Biomass can be burned to generate heat which can then be used to power the estrogen process. This is a renewable source of energy that can help to reduce emissions. By adopting these approaches, manufacturers can shift toward a more sustainable and renewable energy power estrogen process reduce greenhouse gas emission and environmental impact. On this slide, you can see the hydropower and on-site renewable energy generation diagram. Implement waste reduction strategies. Manufacturing process generate a lot of waste. How to implement waste reduction strategies? First, by process optimization. Analyze the extrusion process to identify areas where waste is generated and optimize the process parameters to minimize waste generation. This includes adjusting temperature, pressure, and material feed rates to achieve optimal output and reduce crap. Next, by material selection. 
choose materials that have minimal waste generation during estrogen. Consider using recycled or post-consumer material whenever possible, as they can reduce waste and promote circularity in the production process. Last but not least, by lean manufacturing principles. Apply lean manufacturing principles such as 5X, which is sort, set in order, shine, standardized, and sustain, to eliminate waste and improve efficiency in the extrusion process. This includes organizing workspace, standardized process, and reduce unnecessary movement and inventory. By implementing these waste reduction strategies, manufacturers can minimize waste generation, improve resource efficiency, and reduce the environmental impact of the extrusion process. On this slide, you get to know of plastic waste management strategies. Take a look for a moment and analyze the diagram. Implement green chemistry. This involves using safer chemicals and processes that reduce hazardous waste and pollution. How to implement green chemistry? First, by use safer material selection. Choose materials that are less toxic, have lower environmental impact, and pose fewer high risks. This includes opting for bio-based or renewable materials, as well as selecting substances with lower hazardous characteristics. Next, by solvent reduction which minimize or eliminate the use of solvents in the extrusion process, as they often pose environmental and health hazards. Look for alternative solvent-free processes and or water-based formulation. Last but not least, by chemical process optimization, optimize chemical reaction and processes to reduce the use of hazardous substances, minimize waste generation, and improve process efficiency. This can involve adjusting reaction conditions, catalyst selection, or exploring alternative reaction pathways. By implementing these green chemistry strategies, manufacturers can minimize the use of hazardous substances, reduce waste, conserve resources, and mitigate the environmental impact of the extrusion process. On this slide, you get to see a diagram that explains not to use chemical substance on extrusion that can lead to any hazardous. Use sustainable material, materials that are biodegradable, renewable, and sustainable. Sources can reduce the impact of manufacturing process on environment. How can we use sustainable material? First, by select the correct material. Choose material that have a lower environmental impact throughout their life cycle. Look for options that are renewable, recycled, or biobased. For example, select polymers made from film-based sources or utilize recycled plastic for extrusion. Next, by design for disassembly. Design extrusion product in a way that facilitates disassembly and separation of different materials. This allows for easier recycling or repurposing of individual components after use. Last but not least, by life cycle assessment. LCA. Conduct life cycle assessments to evaluate the environmental impact of different materials used in extrusion process. Consider factors as carbon footprint, energy consumption, resource depletion, and waste generation to make informed decisions about material selection. By integrating sustainable material into extrusion process, manufacturers can reduce the environmental impact, promote resource conservation, and contribute to a more circular and sustainable economy. This is the diagram of LCA. In this diagram, you get to know more about the cycle. Take a moment and have a look. How can we focus on product design? First, by material optimization. Design products that utilize material efficiently, minimizing waste and reducing the overall environmental impact. Use simulation tools and software to optimize material usage and minimize excess streamings or scrape generated during extrusion. Next, by design for recyclability. Incorporate design elements that facilitate the recycling or reuse of the extruded product 
at the end of night. Consider the choice of material is of this assembly and compatibility with existing recycling system. Designing products recyclable or is recyclable component can improve the circularity of extrusion process. Last, user centered design. Incorporate user feedback and consideration into the design process. This ensures that the actual product meets user need and reduces the likelihood of early obsolescence or product dissatisfaction which can contribute to waste generation. By focusing on sustainable product design in the extrusion process, manufacturers can create products that are environmentally responsible, resource efficient, and aligned with the principle of circular economy and sustainability. Invest in employee training. Educate employees on sustainability practice. Encourage them to take an active role in identifying opportunities to improve sustainability. And provide incentives for sustainable behavior. By implementing these strategies, manufacturers can reduce their environmental impact, increase efficiency, and improve their bottom line. Ways on invest in employee training. First, by awareness of sustainability practice. Provide training to employees to increase their understanding of sustainability. Life cycle assessment is a powerful tool that can contribute significantly to sustainability in manufacturing of extrusion process. LCA provides a systematic and comprehensive evaluation of the environmental impact associated with a product, process, or service throughout its entire life cycle, from raw material extraction to disposal. How can life cycle assessment impact sustainability in manufacturing? First, by identifying hotspots. LCA helps identify the key environmental impact and hotspot within the extrusion process. It considers various stages such as raw material extraction, energy use, transportation, manufacturing use, and end of life. By identifying the significant contributors to environmental impact, manufacturers can focus their efforts on improving their specific areas. Next, by material selection. LCA enables manufacturers to compare different materials used in the extrusion process and assess their environmental impact. By considering factors such as raw material extraction, energy consumption, and waste generation, manufacturers can make informed decisions about selecting materials with lower environmental footprints. Last but not least, by product design. LCA provides insights into environmental implications of different product design and specification. It helps manufacturers evaluate the trade-off between product performance, material choice, and environmental impact. By considering LCA results during the design phase, manufacturers can develop more sustainable products that meet customer requirements. Overall, life cycle assessment contributes to sustainability in manufacturing and shooting process by guiding decision-making, optimizing processes, reducing environmental impact, and promoting the development of more sustainable products or supply chain. Recyclability. How can the recyclability impact the sustainability in manufacturing? First, by optimized production process. Implement process optimization to minimize material waste during extrusion. This includes optimizing extrusion parameters, controlling process variables, and reducing scrap or trimming waste. Less waste means fewer materials to be managed and disposed, which contributing to sustainability. Next, educate consumers. Raise awareness among consumers about the recyclability of extruded products. Provide clear instruction on how to properly dispose and recycle the product after their useful life. Educating consumers can help ensure that the product ends up in the appropriate recycling stream. Last but not least, by 
recycle process waste. Implement recycling program for process waste generated during the adsurium process. This can involve collecting and recycling trimming scrape or off-spec products. Recycling process waste reduce the environmental impact and conserve resources. By implementing these measures, manufacturers can contribute to the sustainability of extrusion process by increasing the recyclability of product, reducing waste conserve resources, and supporting the circular economy. Thank you for staying until the end and listen to everything in this slide. I hope you get to learn something from this presentation slide.